Hi there, welcome to African Daisy Tarot. My name is Mina and this is your weekly general reading. Um, we'll check your current energy, what to look out for for the next seven days and what is the advice. My readings are timeless, so whenever you see it is when you're meant to find this and it will be for your next seven days. Okay, so yeah, this is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the air signs. Let's get to it. I also apologize um, about my voice. I'm still recovering from a sore throat, so bear with me. Okay, so for your current energy, you've got the Ace of Wands, you've got the Ten of Swords, and you've got the Two of Swords. Yeah, so the Ace of Wands is um, it's a spark, okay? It's a fresh start, it's new passion, it's um, an intense connection. Um, this card is, um, you know, it brings in a burst of energy. So whether it's, you know, it's feeling inspired in your work or a relationship or um, something personal that excites you, this is that drive to get things moving, okay? So pay attention to where you are feeling motivated and or, or where your passion is kind of pulling you, okay? But paired with the Ten of Swords here, things aren't all smooth sailing. The Ten of Swords can feel like hitting rock bottom um, or reaching that end of a tough cycle. Okay, so this could be linked to karma. Um, this or even legal issues for others of you. Maybe something's catching up with you. Maybe reaching to like a final breaking point. Um, it's uh, I, I see this as a reminder sometimes that sometimes things fall apart to create space for something better okay so this might be a week of those intense emotions but you know just remember that um it's leading to a clean slate okay um the two swords is uh it's about indecision it's about weighing your options so you may be feeling a bit stuck um unsure which path to take or maybe how to proceed you know it's that feeling of hesitation where a part of you wants to move forward but another part is holding back, you know, uncertain of what's kind of like lying ahead, okay? So, yeah, this is about contemplation. So whether you are being pushed to make a choice, um, but you need time to think it through, okay? So what to look out for? What to look out for? You've got the Empress. The High Priestess reversed and the Eight of Wands reversed. <clears throat> yeah, with Empress, you know, there's a strong connection to um, nature, to growth, uh, to creativity. So, you know, this is about nurturing. So it's a good time to kind of focus on um, self-care or reconnecting with things that ground you. So whether it's spending time outdoors, um, whether it's nurturing your ideas, you know, the energy kind of encourages you to be patient and, and allow things to grow at their own pace, okay? And you've got the High Priestess reversed. And now, you know, with the High Priestess in reverse, there's kind of like a, there's this secrecy or maybe something hidden below the surface, okay? Um, this might be a situation where something, maybe someone isn't being entirely honest or maybe there's some information that you're not privy to, um, you know, just pay attention to your gut this week. You know, if it feels like something is off, I always say trust that feeling. You know, somebody might be holding back. Um, so keep your eyes open and don't 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 take everything at face value. Okay. And then you've got the eight of wands reversed, and <clears throat> you know, with the eight of wands reversed, things could feel like they're dragging. Okay. Um, progress might be slower than you'd like. You know, this waiting game could just test your patience. Um, so, you know, delays or slow communication, you know, they, they might be feeling you have it, have you feeling very frustrated. So, um, just try to write it out. Okay. Don't, don't, um, not everything happens on our preferred timeline, right? So this is about letting things unfold as they're meant to be. Um, even if it's not as fast as, as you would hope. So that's the energy of the eight of wands reversed. So let's see, what is the advice? <clears throat> Is that okay you've got the four of wands the seven of pentacles and the queen of swords reversed yeah so the four of wands that, that that's uh, and it's in the upright so that brings in a celebratory vibe 
um, you know, it could be an opportunity to enjoy time with friends, uh, maybe a family, maybe even just attending some kind of gathering, you know, like a party, a wedding. Um, this is about celebrating um, those little wins, life's little wins, right? So, you know, take time to just appreciate what's going well. This is not advice position, you know, it's about finding joy in those moments and just letting yourself be secure and happy, okay? And then you've got the Seven of Pentacles. The advice here is patience. Hard work is paying off, okay? But the results may not be immediate, okay? So it's like those planting seeds and kind of waiting for them to grow. You know, you see the progress, but it's very slow and steady. So just keep putting in that effort, you know, trust that your dedication will lead to growth. And um, yeah, it will lead to growth and success. And then you've got the Queen of Swords uh, reversed. So yes, this can point to a tendency to be overly critical or, or blunt for others of you. Um, this is about checking your words, okay? And maybe your attitude as well this week. It's kind of easy to let frustration turn into sharpness, right? But try to stay mindful. Um, take a breath before you speak. Approach things with a bit more softness. You know, that will that will go a long way. Okay, and that's the advice for you for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in.